It's the radio guy, Mike Prince, and welcome back to another session here. We got Coach Stubbs in his first year with Mississippi Valley, got out the gates real good against his old school at Russ. How you doing today, Coach? I'm doing well, man. Doing well, man. Grateful to be here. Yeah, so, well, congratulations on uh, jumping out the gate against your old school. Was it was it kind of funny being on the other side of the diamond facing your old team? Yeah, it really was, man. It was, uh, you know, exciting to see those guys that I brought into Russ College and uh, good to see some familiar faces and and see uh, a guy that uh, helped me recruit some of those guys and, and Coach John Bates. So it, was, it was an awesome thing. Well, look, you weren't tied to old brother Bates, man. Y'all kind of uh, gave Russ uh, um, uh, a little run-in, a little rough-up job. Welcome to the SWAT work. Yes, sir. We was, uh, like I said, we was able to, uh, you know, uh, fortunate enough to get some guys in strong position, and we executed our, our short game very well throughout the, throughout the day and just came out victorious. Now, Coach, let me ask you this. You came to a Valley program – that um, needed some work, and you got to put your signature on this thing. You got to replace the old with the new and sort out things. How challenging was that? And are you still under construction as far as getting the team with your your signature on it? Yeah, so, so for the most part, we're still under construction of the, to a certain degree. But uh, you know, I, these guys have, have uh, they've really bought in bought into my system and and my program. They know my expectations. They know that that, you know, we play hard nosed baseball. We we um understand that we have to be where we're supposed to be and do what we supposed to do and everything takes care of itself. Uh it just the biggest challenge uh, you know, coming here was changing the mindset and getting those guys to believe that they can win. Okay, and and I guess when you got a program that's been down for as long as it's been down, was it hard for you to recruit players to come and be a part of the new regime? It has its challenges, but, you know, always, I'm a praying man, so I'm a man of faith, so I always believe that a man think it, or that a man think it, that he is. So I just knew if I could go out there and sell uh, Mississippi Valley State, and sell uh, myself and, and and my plan and and what we're trying to accomplish here in Mississippi Valley State. I think that was uh, that was a no brainer to a few guys uh, that that we brought in. So you know it has its pros and cons, but we were just very fortunate to be able to get the guys uh, that we got that we brought in, um, and so we're happy to have them here. Okay, now uh, the key to everything, Coach on any level is going to be pitching. How are you looking as far as your pitching dip goes uh, with your starting rotations and your bullpen? Uh, right now on the front end, I think we're okay. Uh, the biggest challenge we're going to have this year is on the on the back end, uh, in the middle, in the middle of that rotation. Uh, we've got to have some middle relievers. Uh, our back end is, is pretty solid. Uh, but, you know, the biggest question mark is going to be the midweek guys. We're hoping okay. that we can get some production out of the midweek guys. Okay. Now, I haven't had a chance to glance at your schedule, so if you can bring myself and the listeners up to speed, what is some of your midweek uh, uh, schedule going to look like this year? Well, I mean, we got a tough task this weekend. We go down to go down uh, to Nichols State University and play a tough Nichols team. They're going to be well coached. They're going to they're going to hit the ball. They're going to hit it hard. They're going to pitch it. They're going to play good fundamentally sound defense. So our biggest test is going to be this weekend against Nickel State. And then following that, I get a chance to go and rekindle the flame against my old buddy uh, Tommy Raffle over at Arkansas State. He and I, when he was uh, coaching at Mississippi State, I was coaching at Jackson State back in the mid-'90s. So we, we're very familiar with each other. And he's going to have a good competitive team, and then uh, following that, uh, we go to Arkansas Pine Bluff, and then on down the line, we got uh, we got uh, University of Memphis, and uh, as of late, they've been playing well early this year, too, so we got our work cut out for it, but we're, we're, we're up for the challenge. That's, that's, what's, that's why you play the game, and that's why you practice, 
try to get these guys in a position to be successful and, and try to get them to compete at a high level. Absolutely. Now, I know in times past, um, the numbers have been few and far in between as far as building that Valley roster. What are your numbers looking like as far as your roster is concerned? Well, right now, we, I think we're about 31, 32 guys, which is manageable for us. Uh, starting out, we had almost close to 50 guys, but you know guys fall off all by the wayside because of eligibility and you know, and then guys don't buy into the system and into the program. So, you know, we have to turn the page on those guys. But, uh, you know, for the most part, we got about uh, 31 guys, 31 to 32 guys. So we're happy with the guys that we have on our roster, and uh, we're looking forward to their growth and their development and it's just continue to coach them up and, and just make them more competitive. Okay, and I let 31, 32 guys, how many of those are, are arms, Coach? Uh, out of that group, we got about 13, 14 guys, and we can go with 13, 14 deep uh, from the pitching's perspective. Oh, man, that's pretty good, man. You, look, you're in the lap of luxury, Coach. <laughs> you, you're not selling me no possible wolf tickets or nothing like that, no, huh, man? We're, 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 we're trying to make it happen. We're trying to make it happen. Oh, that's outstanding. You know, there are a lot of uh, programs, especially in the conference, that would love to say they got 13 uh, pitchers. And, Coach, if you got 13 pitchers now, you know, crafty fella, you can mix and match some guys to get you through those middle innings, man. Uh, exactly. That's, that's what we're trying to do. <laughs> you know, some, of those guys, some of those guys are young, too. So, you know, just FYI, some of those guys are going to be young. Some of those guys are not ready. So, we just, uh, like I said, we're just trying to coach these guys up and, you know, teach them how to pitch and teach them uh, the mechanics and, Hopefully they'll be. Uh, we can put them in a, in, a, in the line of fire. And they'll be competitive for us. Okay, now, coach, do you have any guys on your roster that'll be part of your everyday uh, lineup that that should be warrant to you know or uh, you know look out for? Hey, this guy got a real good chance of being productive in this conference. I tell you what, uh, we got Maury Weaver, man. I mean, he has really grown into his own. Uh, he's about six two, almost about one eighty. Uh, he's put on some weight, uh, put on some muscle here in the fall, and he came back from the Christmas break, and he looks he looks chiseled and he looks ready. He he uh, he made some 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 fantastic plays for us in the infield this week this past weekend. Uh, D. Chapman, I'm trying to get him uh, to be more consistent offensively. I don't have no problem with his glove. He's just a slick, slick field in second base, but as I've seen in quite some time, and he can play some shortstop too if he's healthy. Uh, we got uh, we got Norvin Book, a little freshman, kind of like a Cedric Mullins type guy, who I think is probably going to play at the next level, have a ch- has an opportunity to get drafted. If he's continued to, to develop and continue to, you know, get stronger and, and work out those small kinks, uh, we got a big old kid out of out of Sarasota, Florida, by the name of Chris Soder. Uh, you know, this kid can swing the bat. Uh, then he's nimble. He can play. play he can play. The, he's a corner guy. And then we got Draylon Holmes. Uh, Draylon Holmes is shoot. Man, this guy's chilled. He's strong as a bull, and and he can hit the ball. All fields, and uh, he just he's going to be one of them good players for us too. Okay, very good. Now I know it's all about winning, and you play to win every game. But what are some of your your achievable goals that you set for your squad this season, Coach? Well, our, our biggest goal is to get to the swag time, and that's that's the that's the number one goal because I've always learned over the years and the, the championship teams that I've had is that. As long as you get an opportunity to get to the tournament, anything can happen when you get to the tournament. So that's our number one goal is to try to get to the tournament uh, for this year, which is my first, and uh, and then let the chips fall where they may. Absolutely. Now, Coach, uh, I know this is I know you're not new to the swag, but you're new to this regime of coaches. Have you been able to um, make any special bonds with any of your coaches this year so far? Uh, yes, uh, you know, I'm very familiar with a lot of those guys. I talked to Coach Omar Johnson. I'm very, very familiar with him being a Jackson State guy. Uh, yeah, I'm very familiar with the guys at Alabama State and Coach Riggins at, at Fairview at University. 
is a good friend of mine, and also Chris uh, Chris Crenshaw down in Southern. He's kind of like a little brother to me, so I've been knowing him quite some time and knows his family, and his daddy played at Lamorne on, and we developed a bond when I was coaching at Lamorne on. So, um, you know, I've, you know, and I've been knowing Jamie Shoot for a long time, and uh, Johnny Hernandez, he and I have developed a, a relationship here as of late. And so I'm very, very familiar with the conference, very, very familiar with uh, the coaches in the conference as well. Okay, very good. Well, Coach, we're looking forward, man, to uh, talking with you more throughout the season. And I want to thank you very much for uh, taking time out with us right now. I want to give you some closing thoughts and comments if you have any, sir. Well, we just appreciate all the support, appreciate what you do for HBCU baseball and HBCU sports. Uh, we're, you know, uh, man, I'm just grateful for the opportunity that Dr. Briggs and Mississippi Valley State has given me here at the Valley. And uh, we just, we just, we're, we're so excited about our young men and just, uh, you know, molding those young men into uh, being grown men and, and being productive citizens on and off the field. So, so we're, we're excited about our season and excited about things to come at Michigan Valley State University. All right, Coach, we're just excited as you are, sir, for the Valley program, as you say, getting some lift off. And, and getting up there in the rankings of the conference, and we look forward to talking to you real soon, okay? Yes, sir, brother. Thank you, man. God bless you guys. God right, be blessed, sir. We'll talk to you real soon, okay? All right, thank you. All right. That was Coach Stubbs of the Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. I'm the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at The Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is the Open Mike Broadcast Network, and our website is OBN radio.com and until the next time you guys be blessed and we'll see you on the other side